back in there? Is there some sort of volume bar that's going up and down? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that volume bar. Your microphone works. That microphone works. All right, cool. So now face now the face must have broken. Oh, cool. I can actually see it now. So the other one's still. I'm still waiting for that. Feels like the mic isn't picking it up. Hmm. Boy, I'm tired. I just pushed for twelve hours. That. Yeah, I was about to say that. Jeez, I'm tired. Yeah, it feels weird. Feels weird. It kind of this is. You don't have that. One day it'll be twenty eight seventeen, but we probably won't make it, do we? Life's a long ways away. Yeah. It's only still under ninety nine years. I can breathe. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I mean, last time it was that long ago it was like the thirteen hundreds. All right, we're going to check out the Bay Live. We are going to do. Yeah, say hi to them because they won't be able hi to hear. Hi to them. Oh, that's the wrong button. Wasn't the background a different color before? Uh, it was the game yeah. color. <laughs> this thing is heavy. Well, I guess I gotta make a new map, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to. We're at build fourteen. I haven't made it yet. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm Lexan. He's Lexan. We're both Lexan. <laughs> especially him. <laughs> but I'm especially Lexan. Hi, right, so. Special Lexan. A special kind of Lexan. So, um, Matt's here. He's going to be kind of playing around with the game. He's going to make a quick map. That's the that's the plan. Hopefully, he'll move the microphone a little bit closer to his mouth. Much closer. <laughs> this much closer? Yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, can hear us. Um, yeah, if you, if you guys can't hear us or anything, let us know. We'll try and fix it. Uh, I'm sure we'll fix it post-haste. Um, uh, I'm going to be working on tweaking some stuff. So Matt's going to be playing the game and trying to see what he thinks we can do to make the game feel better. And I will be trying to actually do those things. <laughs> So we're going to try and do a couple builds today. I don't know if we're going to get them done, um, but we're going to try. Ooh. So I'm going to be working with the our first Alpha 14 build. Where do I want to do this? Builds. Yeah, but once that's up and running, uh, Matt will have a much easier time playing around with stuff. Wee. Wee. 
<laughs> Let's come. Greedy ass. Alpha Burst 14. <laughs> Windows 64. And then I'm going to get. Question. Yes. If Nintendo decided to get into the VR race after all. You think uh, they'd revive the Virtual Boy brand? It would be bold. <laughs> I think that if they did that, they'd win, you know, a little bit of <laughs> cred just with how brass that is. <laughs> I don't know. Boy, I don't know. But I feel I feel like they'd be more inclined to bring back the Game Boy, quite frankly. Okay, so let's get this build started. And I'm going to check up on the stream and make sure everything's working. Hey, it looks like it's working. Hey. Oh. Birdie. That was actually something unrelated. Oh, darn it. Now we're just caught in a loop. Hey, Matt, can you say something? Something. That's something. Oh, darn it. Now we're <laughs> oh, man, we're caught in the loop. Hey, Matt, can you say something? Something. Yeah, okay, I, I, I can hear you enough. Um, and I would like to mute oh, it. Oh, man, we're caught in the loop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, let's see if I can do this in a fun and creative way. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, also, this is kind of fun. I found out on the last stream that if somebody messages us on Twitch, it'll actually show up on the video feed. Ah, you figured that out, huh? Uh, well, kind of. I think, uh, Joanne and, uh, David Komazinski figured that one out. And then I didn't know that it still worked. <laughs> I assumed it needed some external program to operate. All right, cool. All right, so if any if anyone's watching and they don't understand exactly what's going on, Matt is making a map on the screen behind us. I am the laptop that is being displayed up above. Uh, I'm trying to just make a quick build of Alpha 14, which is actually going to kind of stink for you because you're going to end up having to redo this map like right away. No, that's fine. This is a completely garbage map. I'm <laughs> planning together. Um, cool. Eventually, I want to have it so that you can actually load up a map uh, and then try it out and then, like, you know, delete maps and what have you. More importantly, save them. Well, you can save them now. <laughs> you just can't uh, save more than one. You can save more than one. If you If you needed to, you could absolutely save more than one. The only way you could do it would be <laughs> if you... Uh, like actually copy the text file over, or I'm sorry, the hex complex map file over from one to the next. The hex file. No, it's not a hex file. Um, interesting side note, though, you can just pick whatever you want the last, you know, whatever file extension you want. Um, and so, yeah, like that hex, I'm sure, is already taken. and uh, So I didn't want to mess with that. So I just figured I would just do like a super long name, thinking that no one was going to take it. So I just took hex complex map <laughs> figured that was a pretty weirdly enough already taken yeah but i don't know who would take that all right cool and so then one thing i want to do right now hmm, i want to make it so if it's trying to start up a map and there isn't a custom made one I want to just load the default map that I've already made. Oh, that's a good idea. Good idea, Lexan. Good idea, Lexan. That's what they call me. All right, I'm going to do a public string default map. Okay. Matt's got a little bit of a Smash Brothers fever ever since we saw the most recent trailer. 
<laughs> Let's start up a petition to put Matt in the game. All right, this is all very wrong. All right, load map. Okay, so clear map. If the directory exists, if the directory doesn't exist, create the directory. If a file exists, load up that file. It's weird how much stuff has changed since the last Smash Brothers. Yeah. Like, I remember the last Smash Brothers, everyone's like, oh, Nintendo hasn't added too many franchises. How many more characters can they add? But <laughs> now, like, there's Inklings. There's almost certainly going to be an arms guy in there. Yeah. Yeah, it being a fighting game especially. Yeah. It's a lot of pine. Mm -hmm. eh, what can I say? I was wistful for it. You could say. You pined after it? <laughs> I'm like he's going for something. I don't know what it is. I mean, you knew what it was. I no, I I didn't. I didn't when I started that sentence. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> All right, s dot s is equal to default map. Cool. All right, and then if s dot s length is greater than three. P, 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 P. P, Queasy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see how this works. Wait, what do you... Oh, right, I'm still building. That's going to take a while. I wonder if I can... Oh, looks like the uh, camera moved a little bit. You can see a little bit of uh, oh, I'm always putting the wrong direction. You can see a little bit of stuff in that corner. That's disappointing. I can't. Well, like what? <laughs> no, it's like super faint. I can see it on the a phone. Uh, so yeah, you might be able to see it like right over the red right now. There's like a little line. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be pointing it out. It's kind of funny, like in the stream, like you look oh, right up at it. it. Got one piece of grass. <laughs> I got in one little fight. Boy, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, right. What was I doing? It almost looked like everyone was falling through the floor, though. Yeah, that's why I was confused. I don't know what they were, but it kind of looked like it. This is going to be long. All right, let's see how this works. All right, you have to miss You're using all the buttons on this screen, are you? Say that again? You're not using all the buttons on this screen, are you? No, probably not. Uh, you should definitely have buttons dedicated to capitalizing and lowercasing something. Oh, boy. I, so um, I made a uh, like a custom typing uh, layout. I was really quite proud of it. But uh, I, don't, I don't know how I can implement it into this screen because seeing the controller is really important to it, like seeing everything you're doing. But I might be able to make like a super small version of it. Yeah, I definitely want the shift button and a space button. Yeah, go a long way. Yeah, I can see what I can do. All right. Hey. hey, look at that. I'm walking on the ground. <laughs> I'm walking on the ground. Ah. Okay, I'm sorry. That was really annoying. Well, 
oh, this isn't as aligned as I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, my flag's safe. <laughs> yeah, they're not very good at uh, navigating uh, well, almost anything, to be honest with you. Chasms, especially. Yeah. So I can't help but notice that I'm not getting any resources. What the butt? Oh, I think that might be the pine tree bug. I think that uh, you picked the one tree <laughs> that wouldn't work. Huh. Well, I am working on the new build, but boy, is it taking a long time. I should really need to go through and clear out this project a little bit. Also, your colliders on your pines are a little weird. Yeah, I'll have to make them a little bit bigger. Mm, you probably don't have a pen, do you? <laughs> uh, a chance. That's why yeah, I decided. Yeah. Oh, actually. Oh no, it was a work pen. Um, c there's a thing. Of, I don't know. I don't know. They gave it to me. I don't want to like. I want to make sure that I use it for work stuff. Okay. That's stupid. Okay, I know. I get it. All right. That's just Is how it I am. cursed? Is it going to like mount to my skin if I try to use it for non-work utilities? No. Um. You don't know it's not. I don't know that's not. That's true. <laughs> um, so there's uh, there's two jars over there. Some of them have pencils. Some of them have pens. Some of them have markers. That's mad, everybody. <laughs> I would do no such thing on stream. I want to see if I can. What am I writing down? The tree colliders? Yeah, tree colliders need to be a little bigger. Well, no, say the pine tree yeah. colliders. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Okay, so I want to open up a new script. Um. Oh, looks like I got a like. Thank you. From Fossbook? Yeah. Thank you, whoever you are. I don't, know if, I don't know if it says who's watching. Maybe it does. Oh. Well, I don't know. Take that, AI Player 9. Yeah. Specifically. Well, yeah. Specifically. Yeah, it's not telling me who's watching. But all the same, thanks for watching the stream. Oh, Scott Udell. Thanks, Scott. I don't, hey, thanks, Scott. I, I still don't know if I'm supposed to be saying people's last names. Pro probably not, I would think. I think I can say, like, your last name because you're on the stream. So you're kind of, oh, no, you don't, you don't want your name on there? <laughs> no, I said, like, hmm. As in, yes, I understand. Continue the conversation. Oh, okay. I thought that was a, hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Don't say Cam Vrabelick's last name on screen, on screen no. though. Uh, Hey, Scott, c Scott confirms he is watching. Hi, Scott. <sighs> Matt gave you an, an earnest wave. Well, no, I gave him a half-hearted wave. Let's not <laughs> look into my actions too much. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, you can definitely still hear me on there. Okay, so I'm going, I'm looking for the map maker script. I don't remember where I put it. Wow, this is a... Uh some frame dipping on the stream. Oh, yeah? Can you see that? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. It's pretty juddery. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm getting to that part in the actual stream. Oh, did it just start? Yeah. Mm. It must just be a uh, process intensive. Oh, <laughs> uh, Scott says he waved back. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's that cute. Nice yeah, that's really nice of you. All right, all right. Where's the map maker script? Ah, there's a map maker script. Well, you were in a band with Scott Udell. I was in a band with Scott Udell. What uh, did he do? What? What did he do? He played lead guitar and sang. Wow, well, weren't you the drummer? I was the drummer. Uh, we're we're kind of thinking about doing a couple more shows. I don't know. I don't know when that's going to fit oh, in everybody's the schedule. Getting the gang back together. Yeah. Oh. Jump into the old tour bus once more. <laughs> Boy, we never had a tour bus, that's for sure. But that'd be cool if we did. All right, where was I? Where was I? Okay. 
Scott's like, we were we were planning on what? <laughs> he finds out about it from this. Oh, okay. I see what I was doing. I'm liking how detailed the NPCs are getting. Yeah, yeah, we're trying. Oh boy, I don't like that that crouch walking though. Um, yeah. So a lot of the ones that you're likely to be impressed with <laughs> are uh, from a from a uh, character generator. Unfortunately, they'll probably end up getting swapped out, but um, I figure they're better than uh, than what they used to be. So what happens is your fist isn't connecting to them. There you go. Yeah, sometimes it says 500. I can't figure out why, because clearly you didn't actually do 500 damage, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because, like, she would have died immediately. Oh, hmm. maybe she had 600 health. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, actual map select. All right. Oh, I'm not sensitive. Am I sensitive on that? No. Are all the characters' animation speeds the same? Because I feel like this run animation needs to slow down a little bit. So um, it's a little stilted. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're going to end up having to go through and redo all the animations. Uh, time for me. I know I'm perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Scott's pointing out that it was his idea, so it'd be kind of hard for me to announce that to him. <laughs> Very good point, Scott. Very good, Scott. Very good, Scott. Point. Very great, Scott. Great, Scott. A very <laughs> great, Scott. Oh, create a character. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, we don't have a character creator in the actual game. I'm saying that we use a third-party program to uh, basically make characters. It's kind of funny, though, because what we ended up doing was we asked Lena to make some characters in a character creator. Um, Ken made some too, actually. And we just wanted to get them real quick before a convention, and we've never taken them out. And, <laughs> and barring a couple exceptions, never made any they made any ones after it. So they kind of just a stuck around. Of characters, and they were not appealing to look at. They Well, you know, you say that. But I distinctly remember you saving many images of those characters. Oh, oh for sure. It's uh, both my um, – I know I use one of them for Discord, and I think you use the other one for Twitter. Yeah, um, I was going through this computer, and I was trying to figure out – I thought I had a logo for Hex Complex, but I was like, well, it's probably saved on here somewhere. And there was like four images, and I'm just like, oh, okay, maybe it's one of these. And all four of them were of that character. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, if you still have the file around, throw them in here. Throw them in here? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I have the actual character. Maybe. Well. Well. That's an awkward UI. <laughs> that <laughs> just sitting in front of it and but, the shadow for the flag. But, you know, I never actually thought about using that while having the flag. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know what we could do different. Boy, normally when I'm playing in the editor mode, it automatically turns off shadows, so it's it's kind of nice seeing all those shadows. Mm. I say keep them. They look good, unless you're going for a different aesthetic. We're kind of going for a different aesthetic. Uh, we're going for more of a cartoony feel, um, but certainly there's no reason to take them out until we have something better to put in. Uh, eventually, we'd like to have them all fit with one coherent theme, but it's going to be a little bit. Should you make it so that the camera doesn't go through the ground? Uh, so it's kind of weird because normally it doesn't. But for some strange reason, if you have, well, I get it kind of does. I don't know. I don't get it. So basically you can make a camera hit a, you can make an object hit a spot, but it's kind of difficult to have it hit a spot, but offset it. So for example, I don't want it to hit the wall. I w oh, i got to be careful because this is a green screen. Um, I don't want it to hit the wall. I want it to hit it right outside the wall. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, beans. You had a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, long story short, uh, the camera ends up hitting the wall. And as a result, if it, certain angles can see through it. Um, and so i got to find a way to make it offset. Okay. Unity... Out 
files in directory. That's exactly what I'd like to do. Or take the existing ones and use them as templates and make them have Interesting. more animated look. If I just barely nudge the stick, I can move without any animation. Oh, you get a little animation, though. Huh? Oh, there you go. It's really picky. Yeah, so, um, Scott, we might end up doing something like that. The tricky thing about it is um, it's a lot harder to modify a 3D model than you might think. Uh, I mean, you can do it, of course, and but it's just oftentimes starting from scratch is actually a little bit easier. Uh, and there's certain tricks you can do. Uh, but, yeah, certainly, uh, like, actually, the character that Matt's playing is right now uh, is a character that Mitch had pointed out that he really likes. And so we had kind of talked about, uh, like, making a cartoon version of her. So we might end up doing that. I'm not I'm not 100% sure if we will, but uh, she's been uh, affectionately nicknamed Smokey Lady because there was a, uh, a girl who was playing, who was trying to decide what character to play. She's like, ooh, I want to play a Smokey Lady. And the only thing I can assume is that Smokey Lady is referring to her looking like a smoker. I don't really know how else you could describe her as Smokey Lady. Yeah. Well, I think I remember not liking this one. Yeah, Scott, you uh, so Scott was asking, uh, could you just change the textures and not necessarily change the actual 3D model? Uh, you can, you can, uh, but there's actually things I kind of want to change about the actual 3D model. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, you could. You could if you wanted to. Boy, that just seems so unnecessarily complicated. Well, let's see what I can do here. <laughs> Using system.io Okay. <coughs> Come up here. I can vaguely actually see the various hexes. What do you mean? I, I can see the outline of the hexes. It normally looks like one smooth surface from up here, like near the flag up there. You see that? Oh, yeah. Weird. I wonder why it does that at a distance. I'll get up higher and see if it becomes any more pronounced. If anything, it became less pronounced for a moment. Uh, you can't see him though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Now that I'm down on the ground, I can still see him. Uh. So Scott was asking. Oh, yeah. Uh, what? Oh wow. Yeah. So the closer you are, the more pronounced they are. I, I feel like that's got to be something to do with the shadows. Yeah, it almost certainly seems like it. These are casting very small shadows. Oh, yeah, I bet you that's it. And there's really not much more I can do about that. I can mess with it. Um, so Scott was asking, uh, what would you like to change about the actual models themselves? So we have uh, the one character that I like the way it's 3D modeled was um, uh, Tardy Loafer, who's based on a... Uh, no, I, I kind of like the way the duck looks, too. Um, we had a guy put a really nice texture on it. I, I like that quite a bit. Uh, but, yeah, Quacks and Duckburg, uh, character loosely based on myself. Uh, I, <laughs> well, I, I obviously don't look like that. But, anyway. <laughs> um, around the sleep at night, I guess. Yeah, yeah. What, what, uh, I mean, this is annoying right here. The jiggle. Mm -hmm. I actually uh, might buy a program to take care of just that. Mm. Wow. Goodbye, Lumberjack Bill. Um, yeah, but anyway, yeah, more more smooth, more uh, uh, cartoonized. So this character is someone that I 3D modeled. Uh, I do like her model, but the texture leaves a lot to be desired. 
Uh, if she was facing you, it'd be a, <laughs> it'd look a little bit better. You know, if she had a hole in her stomach, she'd look a lot better. What? <laughs> perfect. Wow, you even did all that in 4K. We're we're streaming in 720p, everybody. Really? Yeah. You're not streaming for it. No, we definitely can't stream in 4K. Well, it, honestly, even if we could, it wouldn't. I'm not, that's, I'm not that scary. Come back. Ah. Uh, Oops. Yeah, I made a mistake. Oops. Oh, you have the flag too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we wanted to make a some sort of icon that like makes it a little more obvious. It is kind of fun doing a first-person ragdoll. Not all the characters uh, work with that, but okay. So what was I doing? Ah, right. Boy, I feel like there's a faster way of doing this. Yeah. So, is the whole point of the tech shop is just for two pieces of equipment? No, there's three. Oh. Uh, there's supposed to be more, though. Uh, that does not like that angle. Yeah, so Scott said that her outfit makes her look like she belongs in Clockwork Orange. You'd probably think that even more if you saw the front of her. Uh, yeah, she does kind of look that way. Uh, we had a guy named uh, Bjarke who drew that for us, and... I think he said that she had a little bit of that character. And I don't want to make too much of a connection to Clockwork Orange, uh, but she's a mime character, and so there's certainly some uh, crossover there. Just got kind of slung over my shoulder like a real <laughs> gunslinger. Directory. Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm cosplaying as Kurt Cobain. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, this bug again. What bug? Oh, you're frozen? Uh-huh. That sucks. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, I died? Somehow? Oh, here we go. Get files. I should basically copy and paste Screening in glorious 5K. <laughs> a very rare resolution, to say the least. Apparently they're up to 8K now. Yeah. Yeah. This game actually supports 8K. Haven't been able to test it, but <laughs> theoretically it does. Actually, that's not true. That is not true. I did okay, test this fine. thing. Fine, I'm sorry I said it. <laughs> you should be. I put this thing in windowed mode, and I was able to turn it up to 4K. <laughs> I only saw, like, the corner of the screen. But it was kind of fun. Scott say anything? Yeah, he said, ah, are you saying that because I was looking down? Um, yeah, you can. so Scott was asking, can you, so you can switch seamlessly from third to first person. Yeah, that's what I think we were kind of big on when we first started because there was such a, huge divide between people who like first person shooters and people who like third person. <laughs> She's a tough cookie, I guess. Unexpected. Yeah. Uh, so we wanted to be able to switch between those two so that people who enjoy either would feel more accustomed to it. I'm more of a third person, my, more of a third person fan myself. So Matt, of the two camps, which one do you think you'd fall into the most? Hmm. What? I'm frozen again. Oh, you're you're going like super fast. Huh? Yeah, you got moving. Uh, I'm more first person person. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. So if the directory exists, <laughs> whoa! Now we're in glorious 12k. That wow exponentially grew really quickly and i don't know how this thing 
there's no trees that we have, so. No, there's seems to be a glitch, and I don't understand it because I I took a look oh, at the code and everything. Building. Yeah, yeah. I think that might be better once this build's done. But boy, isn't it crazy how long builds take? It takes mm -hmm. such a long time. So am I. I think there's some good times where first person is needed. Oh, okay. So he, okay, yeah. So Scott says he likes third person more, but there are some good times when first person is needed. I remember how much the suffering blew my mind being the first game that supported both those viewpoints. Yeah, it's rare. Uh, and for good reason. Look how much it messes up. Like, it's so hard to get something that works for both. Okay, so if the directory exists. Wow, even picking up a weapon locked me in place. Oh, really? Yep. No reloading oh. glitch this time. I was just picking up a weapon. Yeah, I. Oh, I there we go. I haven't done too much of fixing that. Yeah, the fact you're in a menu, I think definitely helps. I swear that I can hear it through your screen, but not mine. No, you're hearing it through that. Oh. Yeah. That's the same place you can hear me. I'm worried that it's going to be too Before loud. It sounded like God. <laughs> Wonder no more. All right. Uh, hey, Scott, can you let us know if the gunshots are too loud? Because they, they very well might be. He may have signed off, though. It only says one person's viewing right now, and I think that one person is me. Boy, the lumberjack bill, even the axe wasn't doing the talking anymore. Is the automatic shotgun weak or something? Uh, we definitely did make it weaker. Uh, we, in all likelihood, need to make it stronger. Uh, I clicked the wrong button. Oops. Directory dot get files. Oh, uh, Scott said, for instance, I think PUBG has an aiming option while in third person that switches to first person. You played a lot more PUBG than I have. Heck no, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? No, I've never touched it. Oh, okay. Well, then you and I are tied. <laughs> I guess I just assumed because you stream, that would mean that you'd play it, but... Uh, it doesn't I, interest me. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, I think it seems fine. Yeah, it seems fine. Not enough for either of us to pick it up. Yeah, apparently. Oh, Scott says they are loud. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn them down a little bit. That's, that's close to me. Uh, but I mean, do you hear yourself almost? No. <laughs> All right. And I don't want to. Ooh. Ooh I did the wrong button. Lexin. You pressed the wrong button. Why did I get the mouse? There we go. Okay. That was actually not the button I meant to press. I meant to say dog again. In fairness, it is a gun. Yeah, it is a gun. Um, all right, so Scott, we turned it down. Let us know how that sounds. Theoretically, we turned it down like we took three quarters off. I look so scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really looking forward to implementing that program that I bought. Did you buy it? No, I didn't buy it yet, but I'm planning on buying it. Uh, Scott, I don't know what that symbol means. <laughs> thumbs up? No, it's like Y's wrapped in parentheses. Like, it kind of, uh, I'm showing you it. It's kind of like, looks like eyes, I'm not sure. Uh. It might mean like, yes, yes, or it might be like cleavage. Maybe there's so much, so many easier ways of doing it if you're, that's what you're going for. All right, cool. He says that's better. So thanks, Scott. This is a, this is just a bad angle. 
Uh, Scott is a uh, professional sound man, so <laughs> he can uh, he can hook us up. Okay. Bring over your mixer. <laughs> <laughs> so, if the directory exists, get files. Uh, the maps. Dot length. Yeah. See, I don't understand why people aren't using that online. Oh, okay. I guess that's supposed to be the thumbs up symbol. Hmm. Weird. I'm assuming you're planning on implementing some sort of animation for the weapons. Some, yeah. Because, yeah, like this is very engaging. No. I think it would kick a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more, yeah. Well, yeah, no, we definitely are absolutely planning on more than that. Uh, I, I thought, yeah, <clears throat> there was a point when it actually did kick back, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. I think some weapons still do. <sighs> okay. Debug dot log. Else. Debug dot log. <laughs> Boy, you always got a flag with you. Mm -hmm. I love those little guys. Nice shot. Thanks, bud. Oh, whoops. There is no folder. Okay. I kind of wanted to make it so that you could, like, do enough damage to a obelisk when you claim it, but... I feel like they'd get kind of overpowered, you know. And at the end of the day, people just end up shooting that instead of each other. Okay. All right, so I would like to make... called map names which is equal to a new I don't remember um, those bullets are not coming out of the right spot. <laughs> Uh, so, Scott, no, we never ended up doing a Kickstarter. Uh, the one exception is we did do a GoFundMe for our PAX trip. Um, and that went okay. That went okay. Uh, I'm always cautious. I've said this before, but I'm cautious about doing a Kickstarter for a project like this because it's taken us so long to get this just this far, and I'm, my fear would be if people – started funding the game, we could end up hurting some feelings of people who are supporting the game when we need it the most. And so it's like, I'm, I'm really cautious about doing that because it's easy to betray someone's trust. Where right now, even if the game has issues, we're not likely to offend anyone. If, I, if that makes sense. I, I normally give kind of a longer spiel than that, but that's kind of just the abridged version of it. You get what I'm saying, Matt? What do you think? Do you think we should do a Kickstarter? Cool. <laughs> um. Also, the P90 has the Uzi's symbol in the corner. Oops. Hey, can you uh, write that down? Oh, so we got a second viewer. We got two people watching us. Isn't that exciting? Hey, we now have the same amount of people streaming as we have watching us stream. Now we're back down to one. Well, fun while that lasted, huh? Goodbye, eh? <laughs> okay. Where was I? Where was I? Oh, what happened? Let's go, Scott. What, um, Scott's saying that that happened with Friday the 13th. What ended up happening with Friday the 13th? Matt, did you hear about that? The game? Well, I don't know. Yeah. 
I mean, I was looking forward to the game. It seemed interesting. Oh, but some Kickstarter went awry? It didn't really go awry. It took a while. Oh. All right. Oh, bye. Map names. You need to start putting guardrails as a map maker icon. Uh, yeah. Well, we do have uh, short walls. Equals to... Yeah, they do double damage. Dot to list. I gotta look this up. Thank you. That's exactly what I'd like. You're welcome. All I can say to you oh, is you're I got welcome. A lot of air off of that for some reason. Too much. Too much, too much, too oh, I'm much. I'm super dead. I'm just going to let go. Yeah. Don't even bother. Uh, I've got a skin disease. My hands are covered in camo. Yeah. Oh, I can look through my jacket. Yeah, I think it's one of those culling situations where it doesn't render it. I like how you started doing the Macarena right before you died. Yeah, I was thinking I should a sweet, a sweet dab. Um... Does that work? Oh, that makes more sense. T -t -t too much, too much, too much. They had a Kickstarter campaign. It took a while longer than they anticipated. People got mad. Well, that's too bad. We'd probably make people mad if they paid money for this, too. Backer kit, actually. Well, the rifle only has one shot. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's, des it's designed to be a longer range weapon. Wow, it doesn't have any sort of scope or aiming down sights capability. Yeah, it does. Does it? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I figure what the right. button is. Yeah, um, <coughs> it doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, <coughs> yeah, we got to work on a lot of that stuff. Too much, too much, too much. Using, oh boy, what is it? There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. I said it before, and I'll say it again. But the rifle series should definitely not have uh, bullets that actually travel, because it makes it way too hard to hit someone at a distance. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll end up doing that. Like I said, the only reason why I did it the way I did <coughs> was I thought that's what people would want. But if we just do all ray casting, it make it a lot easier. Oh, cool. It's all done. What's all done? Uh, the fill. Oh. You want to upgrade? Sure. What are we getting in this latest patch? <laughs> uh, not too much, to be honest with you. <coughs> But um, it should work a little better. Oh, actually, no, there's quite a few things. Uh, you can't jump up walls anymore. I, I think I actually talked to you about some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Actually, I could include a That's release note. Uh, I'm not going to. All right, so if you go to Hex Complex... Going so freaking slow. Wow, these are old builds. Trying to make your way up the top. Mm -hmm. Also, sniper rifle definitely needs an actual scope on it. It just looks goofy otherwise. That's just the rifle. No, it's a sniper rifle. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it definitely should have. Uh, their mistake was trying to announce a tentative release time frame, and they missed it. As long as you don't do that until you're done, you should be good. Yeah, so one of the things we've talked about doing before is basically not doing a Kickstarter until we're, like, 
very close to being done, and that way we could do a Kickstarter for more of a specific goal, like, hey, we'd like to raise money for a PlayStation 4 development kit or something like that where there's a clear goal and that goal can be accomplished. And so if... That's what the developers of Divinity 2 did. Oh, yeah? They, uh, they kind of, they put out a Kickstarter and they had the money and the funding and they were going to make Divinity 2 regardless. The Kickstarter was basically just so they could have money to implement a bunch of extra stuff. Mm. Hard to argue with that. And the first game was so well received, and it was also a Kickstarter baby that they met their funding goal basically instantly, and just um, had to make new stretch goals on the fly because the original ones were met so quickly. Really? Yeah. Dang good game too, Divinity. Yeah, yeah, you've been playing quite a bit of that. Mm-hmm. Me and the boys. You and the boys. All right, cool. Whenever you're ready. Okay, cool. So I'm actually going to save and see how this goes. Oh, this one actually works like a sniper rifle. You can actually zoom in and out. How fun. Nice shot. Got him. Got him. All right, I'm going to step outside while you do all that. No, I was going to let you do it, and that way I can keep working on stuff. But I don't want to do it. Uh, your fly is, like, completely yeah. undone. <laughs> I know that. The fly is broken. Oh. <laughs> Got a hard part to ever be done. <laughs> it's always undone. The one about the sweater? Yeah. Huh. It's a good song. Yeah, I can't place the I can't place the melody right now for some reason. Cool. All right, so um, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get the map maker so you can actually like save or load different maps. Uh, Scott says that's pretty cool. Now all you need to do is make it look like you're looking through a scope yeah um we have that in the game i don't understand why it's not working but i will definitely work on getting that to work all right cool so map names all right so do we have a okay so int i is equal to zero i is less than map names dot dot count i plus plus if oh boy how do i ooh, i don't know how to do this unity um string ends with I'm trying to figure out how you can tell what a string ends with because the file extension type is hex complex map and if it ends in anything other than hex complex map like hex complex map dot meta I don't want to count that um All right, looking this up, Microsoft might have the solution for me. Okay. All right, let's try this. So if map names I dot ends with, wow, look at that. Hmm. Did not expect that to work. Okay, cool. So, hex complex map. Cool. All right, so if map names I, all right, so I want to say if the map name doesn't end with hex complex map 
then map names dot remove at i. So what that's going to do is it's going to say, hey, like for example, so go through and it's going to say, hey, does this map end in hex complex map? And if it does, it's just going to move on. But if it doesn't, it's going to take it and it's going to remove it from the list and it's going to move on. And actually to move on gets a little tricky. Yeah, so then now I'm going to have to go I minus minus, I think. Oof. Because then it's going to, um, if I don't do that, like, so if I remove this and then it moves on, it'll end up skipping over one. And I don't want to do that. In this particular case, it wouldn't matter because then it would just skip over one every time and it'd be okay. But I don't know if that's going to work out that way. Okay. Debug.log. Before trimming, uh, we uh, Scott's asking what engine we are using. We are using the Unity engine, uh, Unity 2017.3, I want to say. Uh, they're working on 2018 right now, and so we'll probably end up using that for the next build. Before trimming the map list... And then we're going to do plus map names dot count. Good, 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 good. Debug dot log. I'm just going to copy and paste this. That's what I should have done from the beginning. Um, after trimming the map list. Let's, uh, all right, cool. I'm going to save this. Uh, boy, I do kind of want to test it out. Part of me wants to keep programming, though, but I want to make sure all this stuff works. Yeah, let's test it out. I do have some time until it's done compiling, though. Okay. I would need, yeah, I'm going to need a game object. Public. Public game object. Map select menu. Oh, uh, I'm going to need. Well, oh, I already got this. Okay, cool. Public text. Um, How do I want to do this? Hmm. All right, public text map name singular yeah boop, boop. boop. okay all right cool so let's see if this works this is uh, that's obviously still the old build yeah 
Um, I'd sure like to learn how to do this stuff. Looks pretty neat. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I, I, I do like doing it. It's it's definitely not an easy job, but it's 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 fun. I do like doing it. Uh, hopefully it gets to the more satisfying part pretty quick. What? You just looked at me into the more satisfying part, so I'm confused. Oh. <laughs> uh, Are you hitting on me? No, I'm not hitting on you. Hey, we got a second. Oh. <laughs> We had two viewers for like a split second. Um, no, uh, Scott said, um, I'd sure like to learn how to do this stuff. It looks pretty neat. Yeah, Unity is a free engine. Um, there's actually quite a few free engines nowadays, so there's uh, plenty of good options. Okay, so I'm going to click on console, and we are going to see if this works. Oh, that looks like it crashed. Oh, no, just thought for a minute. Before trimming the list, there's 10. After trimming the list, there's 15. There's five. <laughs> I don't know why I said 15. Uh, after, oh, I know why, because my phone just told me I has 15% left. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's see. Is that right? Um, plug in your phone. I should plug in my phone. One, two, three, four, five. Count them. Five maps. Wow, it worked. Pretty exciting. Um, I should plug in my phone. I don't know where I'm gonna plug it. Yeah, but if you wanted to get the file on there, that'd be I don't cool. know how. Yeah, I'm just gonna plug it in there. Uh, I, I'll just tell you what folder to put it if you're ready. Well, are there USB ports? What computer is it? Uh, it's the only computer there. Uh, you can use one of the front ports. Uh, it's in a folder called Hex Complex. And then build and then alpha fourteen. Um, yeah, so Scott, if you are interested, um, there's a num number of uh, tutorials I can show you. Uh, YouTube is just swimming in really excellent tutorials. Uh, out of curiosity, what kind of game would you want to make? Alpha fourteen. Yeah. Just think, Matt. You'll have to wait until the next game for for you to be a part of Alpha Five. Those are oh, cool. Oh, um, what? Okay. Oh, you might need to copy that whole. I'd copy them both over, and don't put any weight on the uh, keyboard thing because it's about ready to break. All right. Cool. Do, 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 do. Cool. All right. I'm really happy about this. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, you also need to go finish copying those sentences. Um, I'd make either a decision-based RPG or maybe something like a sort of adventure uh, exploration sort of thing. Yeah, RPGs are surprisingly hard to program. Well, yeah, they're they're real hard. <laughs> I mean, parts of them are. No, but I, it's like the thought had crossed my mind enough that I was like kind of messing around with it. That being said, there are RPG makers. You know, there's programs. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, one, that one's a pretty popular one. Um, but yeah, there. So if you were gonna do something like that, um, decision based is in, oh, like a like a choice based adventure type of thing, like uh, like like a game like Walking Dead. So. 
Yeah, I gotta figure out why this isn't working. Because if it works on my computer, that means there's something installed on my computer that isn't installed on that computer. Don't worry, guys. Probably say it's the NBA player that. Yeah. <laughs> Just taking a shot in the dark here, of course. No, no, it didn't work. Reinstalling this program may fix it. Well, drat. Oh, that's a new icon. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Oh, you are freaking out. All right, let's actually look this up. When in doubt, Google it. Um, Unity player dot DLL was not found. Apparently, that's a pretty common search. Do not know why this is not working. I guess I can try putting it in the data folder. I don't think that's going to work either. Hmm. How strange. Well, this is not helping. Classic. Stop it. Oh, weird. Oh, okay. I messed something up. Did you figure it out? Yeah, I guess that now we have to... There's like another file that it has to come with. So we go to desktops, builds, alpha 14. Yeah, there's a Unity player DLL right there. Weird. Alpha 14. Yeah, so technically this is going to be on a new engine. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to actually see any difference, but it will be new. I don't want to do that. Um, eject. All right, cool. All right, well, it's ready when you are. So I think all you're going to have to copy is the unity.dll. What is that, Agent? Uh, the same spot as everything else. The uh, hex complex... Builds alpha 14. Oh, right. Okay. So all this stuff works, which is really cool. I'm really happy this works. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to the map maker. Hey, hey it's I'm working! <laughs> Say what? Said, hey, I'm testing here. Cool. Yeah, so the movement's not going to be very different. Uh, the only difference is you can now do, like I said, that wall jump. Uh, it, you're not going to like the wall jump. It's, it's not going to impress you or anything. Uh, but it is there. So we got that going for you. <sighs> Boy, that mouse cursor, huh? Mm -hmm. 
I was wondering if it was actually going to show the map. Uh, kind of. Oh, yeah, you can, um, like I said, press and hold options. Oh, also, you can hold the butt, hold uh, up and down, and it will uh, quick scroll. And if you go all the way around, it won't backspace. Oh. I figured out why it did that, by the way. So what happened was I – Scott for our big – Hey, good news, Scott. You're, you're now with us in spirit. Oh, actually, he can't see that. You know, hopefully you can see it. It's kind of being cut off, but huh. it, yeah, says, it says Scott. That's weird. Yeah. Well, because the idea being if you changed your mind, you could go back. Uh, also, if you're holding it and you're using the joystick, it'll, like, cut it out every once in a while. And I kind of think it shouldn't. Well, that sure does imply it's not going to work. Also, that doesn't even look like a map that I made. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, you might have to make a custom map for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I know, I know. Map maker. Hey, Scott says, yay! Lol. Zed's dead. <laughs> Sorry to be the first one to tell you. Okay. So, map maker. Do, do, do. We're just hanging out in the void. You and I with our, mouse <laughs> with our good friend Mouse Cursor. This guy. Yeah. That guy. Okay. What? Uh, well. <laughs> he got shy. It's kind of weird considering no one was touching the mouse. Um, I oh, now there is no map. Yeah. Weird. Sorry. <sighs> what am I? Oh, right. Uh, I'm going to save this. Click here. Now, all of this stuff should actually should actually be right here. Well, yeah. Sleepy. Okay. You're gonna burn the midnight oil here, bud, huh? Yeah, for me it is. Yeah. Normally I don't stay up. Too late. Snake. Too late, snake. Now. Now die. There you go. Thank you. I do what I can. I'm good, Joe. I'm so thrilled that you didn't finish. I okay. could have phrased that a little better. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, okay, good. So now I want to do... I'll do an int. I can't imagine anyone's going to have 65,000 maps, but I don't want to restrict them. Int selected map. Uh, oh, I'm going to say is equal to zero. Uh, hey Matt. Hey. If you were starting up a map maker and you got to select through all your maps, would you want to select left to right or up and down? Up and down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd want like a proper looking list though, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Whoa! You're just making squares. Yeah. It's a heart. <laughs> I know it's not a heart. Um, 
If you ever want your boy to test this on my PC, I can do that. Yeah, we can try. Unfortunately, just testing nowadays is going so so bad, but I'll definitely keep that in mind. Hey, we got a new like. Cool. Hey, look at somebody I know. That's exciting. Uh, I did, however, lose connection, so that kind of stinks. Yeah. If anybody told you you can't make a square in hex complex, I'm not here to tell you that you're wrong. You, you personally, not whoever told you that. Can't believe how dumb you are. I can't believe how dumb you are. Most of these arches. Oh, it's not an arch. It's a window. You're just, yeah. It, c it could be an arch. It is now. It is now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, we can show you guys later if you want, but we definitely have some. Oh, so I'm sorry. Scott said his graphics card is not up to snuff, but uh, as Matt is fully aware, we do have some low graphics options. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, we have some extremely. We have some humorously low graphics options. I don't know if it, how well it could run on any PC. I would love to just try it on like the slowest computer I could find. But I don't know how well it would play, so we can see. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, Scott, maybe what we'll do is we'll send it to you, and we can see how well it goes. I forget which number our spawn point is. I think that was somewhere in the corner up there. Um, Low-end AMD oh, Radeon. Big. I can make a very big spawn point. Uh, I think you're just zoomed in. stage is very big so yeah um yeah because you shouldn't be able to change the size i mean let's look at the size of the other thing we can contrast uh i don't know why it keeps doing that to me because yeah here's the size of an obelisk so yeah i'd say it's a pretty big spawn point no actually we, you can now um spawn you can actually change the size of the obelisk could have fooled me. Uh, you press. You're not pressing the right button. I was pressing square. It, you're not supposed to be pressing square. It's the D-pad. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, the the first size is the default size of a obelisk. Uh. Let's put a few spawn points there, and also well, put a lot of spawn points. There. <laughs> put a lot of spawn points there. Oh, you can run GTA Five. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah, I think I think you'll do all right. <laughs> I don't think my laptop can do GTA Five. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be actually like doing work. Um. Okay. So, Matt, if you wanted to have like a super simple menu that was not very hard to do, <laughs> where <laughs> it only <laughs> you can only see one map at a time, would you want to scroll left or right or up and down? Well, that's tough. I don't know if I can do that one. Uh, would you want to do it horizontally or vertically? Diagonally. No, I'm just going to Diagon do Alley, yes. <laughs> Meet me in Diagon Alley in one hour. It can't be. Hey, are Pine Tree 6 in this version? They should be? I would go ahead and diversify all the same. Those are a lot of, a lot of small obelisks. Hmm. Like Mama used to make. Okay. It's like the never ending soda. Okay. Save and load, camera, canvas. Um, I wonder if Homestar would be strong bad in a fight. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Shoot. Huh. 
don't really have a good way of typing. I don't want to go through all this work either. I mean, definitely should. Okay. Oh, what you can do? Uh, let's do Control D. Oh, I forgot. I really like that song. And when you get there, what you think you're gonna do? <laughs> the cheeky eat. Where you Checking coming? up on a match spy that you shot a couple days ago. <laughs> uh, the cheetah is an interesting creature. Okay. Um. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, what's, what's that? Um, oh, if you go up, it's just a very large platform. Wait. Oh. You know what I think it is? I think it's probably a biplane, and that's just you're looking at it not rendering the shadows right. That's a small block. Yeah, I'm I'm almost positive that's the biplane, because the biplane, I think, is still invisible. It's not supposed to be. Oh, so it's a big target. Well, didn't you put them there? No. Well, I'm saying, like, what oh, are they, what are they for? oh, they're for the uh, single player. Mm. Like, break the targets. Uh, you can't really use them in uh, multiplayer, though. Could have fooled me. No, it won't load them in multiplayer. I thought ahead. <laughs> Why are they there? Well, no, because, like, you can use one map for single player or multiplayer. Whether or not that's a good idea, I don't know. Some guy named Beth. It's a very large window. Into the soul. That's actually there's actually doors. Very large door. <laughs> hey Matt, what'd you do today? Made a really big door. I've never actually uh never actually used a door at full size before. Actually I don't even know if that's full size. Uh but I'm really curious to know uh if that oh actually that might screw up the game pretty bad. Because I think, like, huge parts of the map are going to be inside that one action script. You know? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. You and me, together. Yep. I'm like a family. Um. Oh. oh. There's my very large door. Weird. Um. Sorry, Scott. Uh, it looks like the video is still working, but if anybody else is having problems, let me know. I'm um, sorry. What did you say, Matt? Door. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be interactable anyway. I think that you're um like below the action script. Like you have to jump up in order to do it. And when I say jump up, I mean like go up a few stories. Mm. Hey, good news. I'm getting resources between the hey. increasing door. Hey! Those are not supposed to be loaded. <laughs> I expressly did not want those to be loaded. That's disappointing. Huh? Uh, uh. Ha, ha. Stay alive. Stay alive. Um, you know, Scott, I will admit, so I'm watching this on my cell phone right now. I did notice that it seems to be like cutting out a lot. Like it'll like kick me out real quick. But it still works. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know if that's something on our end, if that's I made a bunch of tiny obelisks, but I don't see them anywhere. There they are. You just passed by them. Right, right. Floating obelisk. For a joke, I guess. <laughs> you have to like jump up. Like I said, the action script's gonna be real small. I don't think we ever should have made them that small. We asked ourselves if we could, no, but we no, never asked. Sure <laughs> Oops. Oh well, I can just make and destroy buildings for infinite resources. <laughs> oh, is that not giving you any resources? No, th these are. I'm just saying, if I run out of tree sources, then... <laughs> I can make more resources. Okay. So, 30 font is too small. Let's try 50 font. 50 font looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with 50 font. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. I'm pretty happy with Crazy Sour. You are? I've heard Blood on the Sands is a good game. Have you? Yeah. Weird. Now, what's that game about? Um, someone stole a 50 cents crystal skull, so he goes to kill a bunch of people to get it back. Right. I even know that premise. <laughs> huh. All right. Well, yeah, good for 50 cents. It's not like, you know, The Walking Dead levels of deep, but I've heard it's a fun game. Yeah, well, you know, a 50 cent game, that's really all it's looking to be. I would think. That's all I would hope for it to be. What did I call this? Oh, right. Map name. Map name. Map name. Map name. Map name. Do, 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 do. Back to Smash Brothers. Did you make the base smaller, or is it just me? Um, I think I was supposed to make it bigger, mm. and I and I didn't. Okay. 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 So, if stage is equal to 2, if map names dot count is less than or equal to 0. That's a weird little visual bug. I don't know why I don't like this finished building. Oh. Was it like flashing? No, just the... Uh, like this section, the bottom section wasn't covered up by the building, by the loading. I area. know. That's a very known bug, and I just couldn't get it fixed. Sorry to say. You should be. You should be. Okay. So if map names dot count is less than or equal to zero, and it shouldn't ever be less than zero, but I just throw that in anyway. <coughs> then, yeah, just do stage plus plus. All the stuff presumably works now. Yes. 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 Um, so, yeah, if you have a jetpack, you should notice the effects pretty immediately. That was kind of weird. Oh, it's supposed to take time to research. It is not supposed to take time to research. Uh, okay. That's moment of truth. Yeah, try try going up and then landing. Well, no, because all it does is make it so you can go higher than 30. Huh. Uh, it doesn't look like it's working. I think other people are chopping down trees for you. That sucks. I really thought that would work. I spent like a bunch of time getting it to work. Maybe because I wasn't wearing a jetpack at the time. Nah, it shouldn't matter. I don't think. No, it shouldn't matter. Okay. So, else. How am I going to do this? Yep. I even bought a new upgrade. Nothing. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Scott refreshed the page. Now it's working again. Hey, could you write down that bug? That jetpacks don't seem to be able to be upgraded? Okay. After I open this door. <laughs> hey, man, I feel like I get less lift now. <laughs> and, oh. My head's hitting a ceiling somewhere. Oh. Well, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a solid collider in there. 
<laughs> no, so the character that Matt's playing as, we actually modeled. Um, he has a much better texture. I just haven't gotten around to adding it in yet. That's Quacks and Duckburg. Life is like a Quacks and Duckburg. Duckburg! Oops, I pressed my wrong button. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? There's a sound collider above it. So. Um, uh, kind of. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, okay. That wasn't what I expected to happen. Yeah, me neither. Wait. Are you... How are you doing that? I pushed circle. I tried to open my parachute and it didn't like that, I guess. <laughs> it didn't like that, so it just launched me in the air further. Wow, you are... Uh, wait, can you just jump infinitely, though? Huh. Huh. <laughs> Looks like you got a new bug to fix. Yeah, I guess so. It will eventually stop you. Yeah, I think you're seeing it right now. Uh, yeah, you've hit the, the height limit. <laughs> huh. Sorry, I got quiet for a minute. I was just... In trade weight. <laughs> okay, so how can I decide what it loads? Oh, right. Um, do, 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 Found a new bug. Yeah, we found a new bug. We find we find a lot of new bugs. I guess technically, you know, you're debugging right now, so. Well, I still can't interact with the door. Huh. Yeah, I'll mess with that later. Yeah, it's tricky because I don't know if it's like it's a door problem or if it's a giant door problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can test that. Uncut. Uh, okay. Okay, so what I want to do is, I want to say... 200 foot vertical leap. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're... happening around this weird collider, so... Oh, hey. Sorry about it. Ate an egg on it. What else are you going to do with it? Invisible colliders are interesting. Okay, so make the heart go away. It collides with the door. Okay, so if does the UI be working like that? No, it shouldn't. Uh, we'll eventually get that fixed, probably. <laughs> yeah, what was I supposed to write down? Um. Oh, the jetpack doesn't work. The oh upgraded yeah. jetpack doesn't work. It's so weird, like watching you on the stream, though, because it looks like you're wearing a shirt that has black stripes. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Uh huh. You're just colorblind, like Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh. <laughs> Say one now. Okay. If Okay. If S dot S dot length is less than three then let's go through this whole process. Oh you are 
crash it a little bit. Okay. So. Oh. I didn't get anything. Now I can just do that whenever. Not even near the collider. I can still just smash jump to jump. Well, can you do it now still? Well, when you land, I go as far away as I can. Whoosh. Whoosh. I gotta see if that is from the weird interactions I have with the doors colliders or if it is just you messed up jump because you didn't think to push it a few times. No, obviously I thought to press it a few times. Uh, my Could have fooled me. <laughs> well, here's my thought. Um, we added the new wall jumps in, right? Mm -hmm. So now, basically the way it works is it says, hey... Are they on the ground? If yes, then they can jump. Other than that, are they sliding down a wall? If they're sliding down a wall, then... Oh, now I can't do it. Yeah. Is this a duck's problem? I, I gotta think it has something to do with that collider. Can the duck fly? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, wouldn't that be funny if uh, there's a coincidental bug that made the duck fly? I'd absolutely include that in the release notes. Yep. Hmm. The duck can fly. Confirmed. <sighs> this, I can guarantee you that's a coincidence. <laughs> I mean, I, it's a repeatable coincidence, I know, but the fact that, like, try try the squirrel character, if you if you please. Hold on. I'm going to see if I spot a different spot this time. Is that still by the big door? Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard not to be by the big door. Uh, well, I didn't spot by the big door once. Oh, okay. All right, so if s.s.length dot dot is less than three, then go ahead and try and load this. Actually, I don't even want Flying to squirrel. Eh. Okay. Now, is the parachute opening on its own when jumping? No. So the way that works is if you're falling, you have the option to press jump again, and it will open up the parachute. I'm looking down at this screen as if that's making eye contact with you for some reason. Oh, I'm stupid sometimes. Yeah, so uh, Matt's mashing the jump button, and that's why you're seeing the parachute come over every once in a while. But it almost seemed like you were moving down at an angle, didn't it? Uh, did it? It did. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave all this stuff here for now. Let's save that. Okay, so... Okay, so let's do this. Let's. Oh, right. Um, if map names dot ends with. Oh shoot! Now I gotta figure out how to remove from the end. See, look, I spot by the door as a human character, and I can't do it. It's gotta have something to do with the colliders. Uh, I can't guarantee that, but that's my guess. Unity. Remove. Let's see here. I want to do string remove from end. Stab bottom. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with the colliders. That's my that's my best guess. I don't actually know. The substring function lets you grab part of a string. The first parameter is the starting position. Yeah, no human can seem to do it. No human can fly. We're all starting in the same collidery spot. Yeah, that's true. 
Hard to argue with that. The second is the length you want by pressing the current length minus I'll just one. Write down non-human character can fly. <laughs> I will add no more details. <laughs> All right, I'll get rid of the big door and see if it can still fly. Good luck finding it, because it has to be in the center of that door. And remember, you can like hold the uh, up, and it'll. Well, yeah, I guess if you make the door, no, making it bigger doesn't 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 work that way. <laughs> nice if it did though. Uh, else, okay. So, um, if the map name ends with hex complex, then remove it. Otherwise, map names. Wow, the regular door seems so tiny in comparison. It does. Map. You got yeah. You got to rotate it. How? Uh, with uh, D right. Monkey D right. Map names. Oh, rotating it with string. Oh. It also seems to get further away. Well, it's just, it's. Oh wow, one size too big. Yeah. So basically, if you imagine there's a hexagon. That's how, it, if the hexagon was big enough to match the door, that's the size it would be. Door, delete, please. You're really close. Part of me is worried that you might be, no, you are right. Yeah, you got to go down one. Oh, you almost had it. Oh, my God, it goes on forever now. Perfect. Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. You should be able to delete that. Is equal to. Wait. Didn't mean to do that. Equal to dot substring. Well, these doors are here forever. Yeah. All right, zero. So minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Minus 14. Good. Map names dot add. Wait, you added two more doors? Yeah. Huh. Can't beat a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. New map. Oh, also, could you say that the uh, targets are loaded? One step ahead of you. That's what I was writing. Good job. Great job. Oh, great job. Oh, great job, there, Strong Bed. Okay. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I can give you a good guess. Because you're tired. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but thank you.
Look at that. Tough guy. <laughs> eh? Eh? <coughs> you wise guy. Even with massive uh, world shattering doors, the humans still can't fly. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, can you imagine if that was like the plot of some anime where they just keep making doors bigger and bigger, hoping that someday man can fly? <laughs> and the ducks and squirrels around them. Are just, <laughs> the ducks make sense. The squirrels, not so much. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I mean, there's flying squirrels. Hey, you just go for it, too. Like, you're not even, like, kind of flying. There we go. We have lift off. And the weird part is, you're flying well past what should be the extent of that door. You know? Mm -hmm. How do you move the mast? Oh, you hold the um, delete button for. If it's for a long time. It's like for like ten seconds. I do want to have it so it actually like counts down on the screen. Oh, it's still going. Yeah, do you think it's ridiculous for me to make it to let it be that big? Sometimes it just goes taller, and I don't know why. Yeah, a third of the time. So it's it. So if you look around at, if you look around at, I don't know why I talk like that. Uh, one time it's scaling up in the general size. The other time it's scaling up as if it's a floor, and the third time it's scaling up to make it tall. Classic New York slice. <laughs> From the bottom of the pizza. <laughs> In New York, we stack our pizzas. Like a stack of pancakes. <laughs> and like a stack of pancakes, eat the bottom one voiced. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to New York I mean, Hexagon. I was joking. I could go with a stack of pancakes. <laughs> Uh, would you eat them from the bottom first? Sure, if that's what it took. <laughs> if you told me I could eat pancakes, but I had to eat them from the bottom, I would accept. Um, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, the weirdest shows are getting into Atlantic Renaissance lately. Which ones? Like King of the Hills becoming quite popular. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're not like making any more, though, are they? No. I've heard a lot of people say that it's vastly more popular after its run than it was oh, during its run. Seems like it. Which is kind of funny considering the how long. show is really getting a lot of <coughs> traction lately. Huh. Is, weirdly enough, Frasier is getting a lot of play lately. Really? In internet spheres, yeah. Huh. That is a uh, strange pick. It is a big old map. Mm -hmm. And it's scanning. <laughs> scanning. So. Scan complete. It's a New York pizza. Whoosh. Oh, this is a tree, huh? <laughs> How's that zoomed out, huh? <laughs> oh, my. Good job, Big Bear. Yeah, I don't even try to make it so you can't go through walls uh, in Map Maker. Because it would be very difficult to actually use. Oh my goodness. The size of this map? Yeah. It's not kidding around. I don't think you can make it work. Which is unfortunate, because I would have thought you could. I, I don't know about you. I can't even see that. I can barely, barely do see it. Uh, if a golly see it. Excuse me. 
Excused. Okay. All right. So. Do -do -do -do. Okay. It's a forest of obelisks. Big old forest of obelisks. Reminds me of those custom StarCraft maps that would have like cr uh, crystal clusters that would have like 10 million in them or something. Yeah. I like those little guys. Yeah. Made that game a lot more fun. Especially when you actually managed to kill someone else and got to take over their base. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't really think and about that. Double infinite resources. <laughs> wow, that's so much. What I'm saying is not inaccurate. <laughs> yeah. If you and I split the universe, right? Uh -huh. So I get everything this way. And you get everything that way. I have an infinite amount of universe, and you have an infinite amount of universe. But if I stabbed you in the back, I could have twice infinite amount of universe. Why? Like finding me though, chump. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole infinite to be in. <laughs> you know what the odds are of you finding me? Zero, but practically, actually, a lot higher than that. Yeah, you yeah. Like the phrase infinite chance. <laughs> um no. It does take a little bit of figuring out. It's a It's a whole lot of trees. Boy, it's hard to even look at that. Like while it's moving, you know? Mm -hmm. And you definitely missed a spot. No, for sure. Eventually, I'm going to have to put in some sort of tile limitation, but that day's not today. What, are you afraid I'm going to crash the system? I don't think you're going to. I, I think you've you got a ways to go before we'll see any issues, but um, I would like to see how Sounds much accepted. it accepted. All right, everybody, let's see how, if he can crash the game. Now, the tricky thing is, like, we don't have a good count for how many trees you got, you know? So we won't know what's an acceptable amount. Well, I'm doing these roughly in a grid, and you can run the tape back and look at the measurements in the corner and see what the up and down and left and right of this grid is, and then beam all I, the I, I can just look at it right now. So it's like negative. It's like two to negative fourteen. So yeah, we got like sixteen maybe. Wow, it's does it, it probably doesn't feel like there's any frame drop, I would assume. Mm -hmm. I do all this and they're off by one, like they're one tile off the ground. Uh, well, check. Well, I already reached the edge of the plateau, so. Oh, uh, apparently you beat it by a little bit. Uh, it'd be cool if you could change the color of the trees though when you create like drawings of them. Huh? It's actually not a bad idea to just have like like a minor variation in the color. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 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 Okay. Come on, Lexan, you can do this. Oh. Be hundreds of trees. It's gotta be. Yeah, it was. It's definitely hundreds of trees. I don't think it's thousands, but I think you're getting there. I like how this is sort of naturally tapering off. <laughs> yeah, with your interest. <laughs> oh. Casual conversation. 
It's casual time. Casual time? When you're ready. I just want to lean back. <sighs> Play the new 50 Cent game. Well, you have to wait a while. It's not new. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just have to wait it out. Back Scraw crab. <laughs> Scraw crab. <laughs> Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, if they press, can't even get to the other edge of the plateau. Mm. The Great Plateau. Uh, isn't this the Great Plateau in a game? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if so, we'll look at something down. Oh yeah, there's the edge of the Great Plateau. Yeah, I was say you could change the camera angle a little bit. I could. Boy, it is mesmerizing just to look at, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just look at it. Those few empty spots really bugging me, though. Oh, yeah. That's the spot. <laughs> um, I have a tile counter in the game, but it doesn't actually like show up. Okay. <laughs> like it shows up in the debug logs, but like it doesn't really affect you very much. All right, let's play this bad boy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think you know what's going on here. I don't. Um, the you're looking at the map and it's like rotating, mm. and the map's too big. <laughs> so I would just press A and try and like go over a few spots and then press and hold start and <laughs> I don't know what character you're gonna be. <laughs> How funny. Eh, it's a little bit of a dip. It does remind me of the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot those are really big trees. Mm. It's like the hyperbolic time chamber. That's another bug I gotta fix. I'm tempted to go out and smoke and just see what the total is when I get back. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's already up to 1,000. Because, yeah. If this is like the happiest day of the AI's life. <laughs> I can one do thing it. we can do, and we can do it. We can do a lot of it. <laughs> oh, no, they're making a break for it. <laughs> well, they're going to the other person's body, probably. They're trying. They might, they might end up uh, claiming that obelisk though. Hey! Ugh, I wish they were better at walking. Right? No? no. You you can coerce them into going the right way, but it's not gonna be easy. Wow, she is really putting up a fit about it. <laughs> Go on. Oh boy. Well, it'd be nice to see how many trees you actually get by the end of it. Yeah, you know you'll have plenty of resource. I wonder how many of them fell to the lower part of the Great Plateau and have nothing to do now. Oof. Likely a lot. Someone already scored a point somehow. Yeah. They aren't textured. His whole body isn't textured. The only reason why it has the color that it has is I just like was dragging uh, the color on there. 
Yeah, the, yeah. So Scott was asking, is there going to be online multiplayer? Uh, yeah, there is eventually going to be online multiplayer. Uh, we actually have a guy working on that right now. Ooh. That is an unflattering angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Here's looking at you, Nick White. Unfortunately. Ooh, what the heck was that? Is that my Bluetooth? Is that your phone? No, my phone's on silent. What? Oh. Oh, I got a new notification. It's from the cops. <laughs> They're coming. Um, yeah, I don't know what that sound effect was. Are you a cop? If you are, you have to send me a notification. <laughs> <laughs> we say that online to, like, the general public. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, they're still out and about, but they didn't get very far. Well, you can see them, like, digging a path, though. Uh-huh. Oh, it seems like one of them is especially active now. Someone is following you. Oh, cool. Hey, thank you. Okay, so that must have been like a uh, like a streaming notification type yeah, thing. Twitch, probably. Hey, I can stay on top of the trees. Look at that. Wow, yeah. That looks really cute. Really, look really cool. All right, cool. Well, hey. Uh, thanks, Breaker. I appreciate you following us. That makes me feel really good right now. So, Breaker, um, on a scale from one to a lot, how many trees are there here? <laughs> I would guess there's probably 300 trees. Really? Yeah. That's way more, because if each of these grows around 16, then I think 300 is just low-balling it by quite a bit. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Man, I'm like an anime character. I just ran past and cut down all these trees. Uh, and now they're all afraid of you. <laughs> huh. Maybe you don't need to see me pull my sword out. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't like that metaphorically. All right, cool. So. What? <laughs> Whoops. All right, so this is a PG stream. PG stream. Okay. So, if you press menu accept... New challenge, clear the whole forest of trees. That'd be a fun challenge. Hmm. Uh, you gave me an idea. You're going to try... Oh. Um, oh, yeah. You're going to try blowing them all up? I was going to use a laser cutter. Yeah, laser cutter has a uh, added bonus for cutting down trees. Um, honestly, if it were up to me, I'd probably use the uh, grenade launcher. I don't know. It's a good thing it's <laughs> wow, yeah. one of the lime green teams play uh, players is really making a go for the flag. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be yellow. Oh, what is it? Hey, not Cam is following us. Uh -oh. That's Hi. so wonderful. Hi, Not Cam. Hello and welcome. <laughs> um, Not Cam said hi, Matt. Wow. What? What do you expect him to say? Well, hi, Matt and Lexan, maybe. Oh. Like just completely ignoring. <laughs> this, is, this is his game and his special day, and you're not even gonna say hi to him. Uh oh. Okay, I landed in the building um, for a moment. He said, "Why he no read chat?" Oh, sorry. Yeah. So. I, I'm I'm reading it now. <laughs> I didn't see it earlier. My apologies. Um, basically, the way it works is I have the Facebook, but we're streaming to YouTube, Facebook, and um, Twitch. Yeah, I don't know. He's dumb. Okay, thanks, Cam. <laughs> um, so we're streaming to those three. I'm watching the Facebook one, and we have uh, a thing on there which makes it so I can read it through the Facebook stream. So. I like the staring at Tardy Lofer. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's what's going on. Boom. <laughs> 75%. Um, hey, I was on YouTube commenting. Oh, yeah, sorry. Definitely didn't see that. Um, uh, I'll pull it up though. Not going to lie. I, uh, uh, we don't get too many people watching on YouTube, so I, I appreciate you for doing that. 
Good job. Okay, you're trying to stream three times over. Uh, what are you working on? Uh, this is a game that we're working on called... Oh, I forgot that he's going to have the thing in his... <laughs> oh, right, I forgot my sound effects, too. Um... <laughs> Uh, so I can hit the forest for the trees. Huh? <laughs> um, yeah, this is a game we're working on called Hex Complex. I think you're. I don't know if you're getting any uh, cues out of what it's what it's going to be like. It's a third-person, real-time right. strategy game or first-person. I know, like I said, <laughs> with, with that character, it always has the gun in his head. Why does it take a long time to load? He got into his head. He couldn't figure out. Why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a um a third and first person uh real time strategy game where you like make buildings, vehicles and weapons. Hey Matt, I saw you walking away from GameStop today, I think. Was it you? No. I have not left the house today. <laughs> Uh, not Cam on the YouTube channel said, "Hi Matt, when did did you add Matt as a playable character?" Hi Lex. <laughs> I have to find it. Just give me a second to find it. Grenade launcher, there it is. Is anything better than the grenade um, launcher? First thing, uh, first person. What the fuck is <laughs> Some of that rocket launcher blows out the rest of the sound lines, and can you fix that? Hey, Matt, would you be willing to turn down the Unity sound right now? How? You have to do, like, the alt tab, and then, uh, like, go to the volume mixer. And yeah, I think, the, I think it, like, because you hear me talking, like, yeah, so that seems pretty loud. Um... Scott Udell agrees that it is pretty loud. Doesn't seem very efficient, Lexan. You lied to me about the grenade launcher. Yeah, I think I was wrong. Time for my original plan. A man, a plan, a canal. What is this? Macumen. Oh, it's the build not done grenade launcher. What? It should be funky launcher. That's really weird that it's doing that. Gotta see what this thing's about. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, they'd really like it if we could turn it down. All right. Thank you. Okay. How am I turning down? Uh, no, you have to go to the volume mixer. And then scroll over until you get to Unity. No. Oh, I'm sorry. It'll be Hex Complex. Oh, yeah. I guess I got to fix that, don't I? Um, how do I watch my own channel? Whoops. Uh, uh, Cam wants to know if we can uh, mute Matt. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, you can. Uh, I think this is an unrelated one. I think this is unrelatable. Oh, cool. We got two people watching. Oh, building multi shot rocket launcher. Yeah, that. Oh. Yeah, th that's the wrong name. There are like three wrong names for this item. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, I was about to say, that's, that's the actual name for it. What's this thing do? It shoots out something which shoots out six grenades. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Tell him Alt F4. <laughs> um, okay, how, if I pause this. Cameron, I'm using a controller. Can you tell me the button, <laughs> button <laughs> combination I need to use Alt F4? Yeah. Triangle plus share. <laughs> triangle plus share. Let me try it. <laughs> nope, just got rid of my weapon. Thanks. <laughs> oh, it, re it rebooted everything. Oh, yeah, this the space room. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it seems more uh, tranquil than it was intended to be. 
I love how distressed Nick White looks in the, <laughs> in the tranquil room. Yeah. How weird. Who did the 3D model for Nick White? Uh, it was me. I didn't finish the... Uh, oh, I like his hair. Thank you. Would weapon damage also increase <clears throat> damage to trees? Yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of resources. good seems great good and great won't you take me to funky launcher <laughs> ah, time to be loud yeah i think it's still probably too loud how what volume did you turn it to 25 hmm hmm there we go we might want to just turn it down to like five Scusi. Um Oh, I definitely want well, to pause this. This doesn't seem to be working. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely right. Uh, I'm going to get off YouTube. I don't want to lag in my internet too much. <coughs> oh, not Cam. Your voices are still quite a bit lower than the game. I'm not going to go right now. I got to go die in seven days to die. <laughs> What's seven days to die? Oh, wow. I just hurt myself a lot. Huh. Yeah, on top of everything else, Cam, um, <clears throat> oftentimes we're not talking into the microphone. So if we're talking to the microphone, it should be a little better. Hi, Cam. It's, miss you. Is it lagging or is that the game? I don't think the game was lagging too much. So it's very likely the stream. Because uh, like now I'm like watching all of the streams, which is kind of the wrong way to do it. Hi, Cam. It's an alpha game. It sure you. is. I said sure us. Man, that sucks. Oh, I fell into the void. Oh, did you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, boy, that stream does definitely seem like it's still lagging. So what's this pop filter for, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't taste like pop at all. Is it getting rid of my plosives? It is. Uh, who makes the model? So um, a lot of people, is, is the long story short, uh, we have a guy in England named Declan who 3D modeled a lot of the weapons for us, uh, which they aren't, don't, aren't looking too good because they're inside his head. But if they're not inside his head, they look a lot better. Um. Uh, sorry, I'm reading chat. I probably shouldn't. Um, I did some of the, the characters. Whoa. 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 Oh. Okay, that ragdoll didn't exactly work right. I did a lot He's of. Split in half. <laughs> that was disgusting. Like Nick White just like got chest bursted. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, I did um a lot of the characters. Uh, Declan did a lot of the. You did all of the trees. Uh, some of the buildings are done by a guy named Ken. Uh, there's a bunch of people. Um, oh, great. I'm frozen again. Oh, well. Time to go fast. Um, hey, Breaker, I can't. Ex I don't exactly know what you meant by that sentence. Um, I don't know. All right. So Cam was saying uh, Seven Days to Die is an alpha game. It's a zombie survival game. Pretty original, right? Um. Uh, but yeah, Breaker, uh, hey, I got a friend to watch. Oh, that's so cool. Hi, Cam's friend. <coughs> Brenty? Hi, Brent. <laughs> help. Um, oh, can you help? You want to try 3D modeling? Um, there's uh, The 3D mo modeling program we use is a program called Blender. Uh, it's open source. It's free. He said, what is this game about? Um, well, oh, I didn't see that part of the chat. Sorry. No, I was responding to uh, Breaker. He was saying, um, uh, can I help when I get home tomorrow? Uh, you have Blender. I use it for messing around. Yeah, uh, it's it's a bit intimidating at first. Uh, I know it was for me, uh, but it's one of those things where uh, 
once you get used to the interface, it's not quite as intimidating. Uh, it does take a little bit of learning, but there's a lot of really good tutorials online. Um, YouTube has a lot of really good material for it. Uh, but to answer the question of what the game is about, it's a third person real time strategy game. So you basically just think, uh, Capture the flag with base building. You um, can harvest resources, make buildings, vehicles, weapons, and compete against other people who are doing the same thing. If that makes any sense. Uh, and right now, I'm trying to program some stuff, but I'm having a hard time staying focused. Can I capture the flag in a car? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. The car is, like, super slippery, so it makes it less fun, but other than that, it does work. Um, Scott agrees that the stream does seem to lag ever so slightly. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like I'm causing that lag. Because I'm like watching the stream. Actually, you know what I could do? I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I'm watching the stream That's on my a phone. That's really unflattering angle. There's just a qu on quick shelf under his belly. Yeah. Uh, I want to change the settings. Oh, you're not letting me do that, huh? So, uh, did you just fold yourself up? I got in the car and this happened. Weird. I'm driving, I think. <laughs> oh, you're, that's what happens when you're in the car? Yeah. That's really weird. You should have seen the beginning. Uh, let's see. I'll respawn. Nope, not that one. Dang it. Dang, gummity. Why can't I change the settings for this? Oh, that seems to have crashed it. Oops. Huh. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Yeah, I can't figure out how to change the settings. So anyway, I guess I can't. Uh, or maybe it's just Matt because you were talking into your mic. Yeah, I keep trying to get Matt to talk into the mic. He does sometimes, though. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who couldn't hear him, Matt said he's trying to talk into the mic more. Uh, hello. That is not. That's not. That's not a mic. It's a mic stand. <laughs> it is a mic stand. Yeah, the way I'd like to think about it, Matt is if you can hear yourself in those speakers, then they can hear you. If uh, if you can't hear yourself in those speakers, then then they can't hear you either. Um, I want to just make the chat part bigger no hi Cammy. remember he still can't hear you oh he did say hi maddie mm -hmm. so there's that um is there a way in hi cam uh he said hi cam i'm not even sure if you could hear it uh is there a way just to view the chat from um <coughs> twitch yeah, there's a pop-out window. Oh, I don't know how to do it. Ask Cam. Hey, Cam, how do you... Um, oh. McFlan says, Hi, Matt. Um, this isn't Divinity. That's what uh, Cam says. <laughs> I it's, mean, you're right. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Uh, hey, uh, Cam or McFlan, do you guys know how to make the um, chat pop out? Because uh, I want to just have that like open off to the side. No, look at them go. Look how rambunctious they are. They're so excited. I need to build a machine shop so I can show you exactly what happened when Nick White gets into a car. <laughs> this is what happens when Nick White gets into a car. I'll just wait for them to harvest resources for me. Right. I'm, I'm going to be just a little tardy. Ah! That's I'm funny. just going to loaf a little bit. Um. Okay, so I'd like to turn down this. Machine shop. So if I press play, it's like super low quality, but that's fine. But all I care about is the chat. Bottom something. left of the chat. Okay. Press the cog. Oh, well, you can scroll down on that thing. Pop out. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Hello. Hello and welcome. Thank you, Cam. Thank you, Cam. Um, okay, cool. I just, like, did a thing. 
Now, um, it, are we are we admitting that he's Cam, or are we trying to still keep that a secret? <laughs> well, I mean, I already said <laughs> I already said his first and last name on stream earlier. So, oh, did you? <laughs> I didn't notice that. that that's kind of funny. Uh, no, don't don't open Bixby. I said it specifically in the context of he doesn't like having his full name said online. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? Oh, Cam. <laughs> Not at least here. I'm not brave enough to do it. Um, hello and welcome, my loyal children of the night. Can you make those NPCs into collectible resources? <laughs> like, like harvest them? Like, cut them down at the ankles? Bring them home? I don't know about that. Hello, wound. Welcome, my children of the <sighs> night. Yeah, hopefully it's not getting to the point where it's, uh, yeah, boy, that's, that's a weird concept. <laughs> Okay. All right. So. All right. I'll let you know when this car is finished building. Oh, you're just watching. Yeah. Looks like it's almost done. If I were to guess, I'd say it's about 90% done. <laughs> Maybe 95. Oh, no. So, Cam, those those orbs over the their head is actually just like a hexagon. It's just like a, All right. a tracker. Here's one I try to drive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're like still in the car. You just like fold it up into a neat little basket. Huh. That that that's a new one. I have definitely not seen that one before. The gross thing is that its feet are almost above his hands. Yeah. Yeah, that is gross. Very hard to navigate like this. Yeah, oh, I'll bet. Looks uh, like someone. Uh, uh, let me see. Someone over there has a parachute deployed. Yeah, you're right. I think they're they're either in the floor or they're just like way above it. I think they're in the floor. I'm in the floor of the Great Plateau right now. Let's see if that happens to other Cam people. If it's just Cam like said that's how he drives oh. his VW Bug too. Oh, weird. When I tried to quit, it kicked me out. Yeah, uh, it definitely doesn't know that you're falling. I'm not falling anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It, it didn't know that you were falling. Excuse me. Let me back in. Up. Oh. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Up. Oh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you control when it does that? Yeah, that's when I try to push forward. <laughs> did you just get hit by that car trying to quit? Yeah. That's funny. Yes, I did. Lexin. Can't you make it so if his Y level is below the map, he teleports back up? Uh, you, you can. <laughs> um, uh oh, he said my full name. No. <laughs> no, that takes away my power. What, Lexin Paul Sternberg? No. Man, no, I can't fly anymore. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely have a uh, vehicle hanging off the edge of the cliff situation going on. Well, let me help, buddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach him. Uh. Did you see that for a split second? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I thought fall damage wasn't on. Yeah. Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> I took 2,378 damage. Well, 2,478 damage. Wow. That's a lot. Sorry, Is guys. Is it because I landed on the car? It's definitely because you landed on the car. Uh, I think that what happened was it was registering you as getting hit by the car. <laughs> Is that Instead the of the car getting hit by me. Yes. Yeah, so long story short... Uh, it's very difficult to determine who initiated a hit in uh, in Unity. Or probably in just about anything. In real life. In real life. <laughs> no, it, like, if a car and a person hit. No, yeah. Even then, yeah, you could definitely tell. Because, like, if I ran into a car, there wouldn't be any debate. It's funny how I'm running forward, but it's really hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. You have a, uh, is just that big. 
I think you definitely have a hyperbolic time chamber esque situation going on. It's gonna be kind of a shock when I fall off the edge. I think you'll see it coming. So let me interview you through chat. Uh, like like me? Like me, Lexan? Who wants to interview you? Not Cam. Oh. <laughs> Well, Not, who, who does then? I don't know. Wouldn't it be funny? Uh, okay. Did you come up with the hexagon tile theme from Settlers of Catan? No. So the way it worked was we... I only ran that far, huh? <sighs> well, that that's probably really far. We were looking at different motifs, and we decided to go with the hexagon <laughs> one in <laughs> part because... Works. If you do a grid-based system, like a square grid-based system, you end up having a really repetitious map design. And so the cool thing about making hexagons is uh, there's no continual straight line. Uh, the, the hexagon will always turn. And so you can still make grid-like items, obviously. Uh, for example, all those trees look kind of grid-like, but it kind of varies it enough and adds a, a certain level of uniqueness to the experience. Uh, now on top of that, now we have like harvesting resources. And so after that, it's like, okay, well now we definitely have some sellers of Catan in there. Uh, it wasn't the intent, uh, but I mean, it's not really a secret. We are big fans of the game settlers of Catan. And well, so you are, I'm a big fan of the game settlers of Catan. And so there was certain times when we kind of thought about in that perspective is, you know, like how would you, so harvest? when are you going to add sheep to the game? I don't have any any intention of sh adding sheep, much less the ability to harvest them. But uh, yeah, th that definitely it was an influence, but it wasn't an influence for why we went with the hexagon motif. If that say you are you curiosity. satisfied, <laughs> Cameron? What? No, that's even more name. Mm -hmm. Boy, you're gonna drop that final. Cameron and Xavier. <laughs> uh, are there any other board? Are there any other board games that may have influenced you or video games? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess way, way, way back in the initial design docs, a bit of a glorified term, but we were drawing a lot from Time Splitters originally. Yeah, and honestly, I think you can still see a lot of Time Splitters, like the fact that we have a map maker at all. Um, the Mac, the fact that we have vehicles, I understand that's not a, oh boy, that camera's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So this, this is a thing that like everything does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I know why this bug is happening. Huh. Oh, so what's happening is, okay. All right. Brace yourselves. So. I was going to, like, use the wall to show. But use Nick and White. <laughs> no, I'm not going to use. Okay, all right. So well, w what we were having was when a player would jump up, they could, like, lock into the wall, and they would hold there, and they, they wouldn't move. And worse yet, it would actually detect it as the ground, and so you could jump up, and you can get over a wall, which was not our intent. So I was like, okay, well, first of all, let's better detect the ground. But second of all, if they're in the wall – just have them move down slowly. So if you know that they're pushing into the wall, have them move down at a slow pace. And so the way that I knew they were in a wall was if you ray cast forward and you detect an object and you're pressing forward on the joystick, mm -hmm. then it'll slide them down slowly because it assumes that they're on a wall. So what happens is right now, Matt, you're wall sliding on the inside of a vehicle because I never thought, hey, don't check for any of that stuff if they're in a vehicle because <laughs> obviously who cares at that point? So anyway, that's why that's So happened. why does he fold inside of himself? Because Why are parts of his body, are they still stuck where they have? Because there are IK triggers, which are trying to keep his feet in a certain position and his hands in a certain position. So, like when you're driving, it wants to have the feet by, you know, the pedals. It wants to have the hand by the steering wheel. And so it tries. And so as a result, as you move down, <laughs> it's just going to reach up and try and grab those things. Uh, but 
uh, it doesn't obviously have any restrictions on what human flexibility is capable of doing, and so it just folds them up into a little ball like that. But okay, apparently, second question: How come when I'm holding forward, how come I'm not continually stretching and sliding? You're not continually stretching, but I think you are continually moving down. Well, actually, you would stop moving down as soon as you were no longer pressed up against a wall. Uh, but yeah, the character wouldn't actually stretch because it does plan for that. It tries to keep the arms the same length and the legs the same length. Okay, so um, all right, so I, I'm gonna try and uh, yeah. So Cam's asking, is Matt making notes of these bugs so we can fix them later? Uh, he is. Uh, he kind of goes. He, he'll play for a little while and then he'll make some uh, notes. Um, Matt, could you make a note that Ken wall slide inside vehicles <laughs> so I could take a look at that? Um, uh, what other board games? Uh, yeah, I think we've, we've pretty much answered that question. Um, are you trying to make a game you want to play or a game you think other people will enjoy? It's definitely a mix of the two. Basically, um, the concept of uh, Capture the Flag with base building was a game. I'm sure other people have done it, but I guess I just haven't seen it, or at least I haven't seen it implemented in the way that I liked. So that aspect definitely is the driving force. But when we go to conventions and we have people play this game, I think that we do tweak the game quite a bit. If there's something that I like in the game and just we're getting overwhelmingly negative response from, well, then, yeah, you, you take it out. And if something people if people really like a certain aspect, you build it up. I'm sorry, Matt, do you want to say something? I just have a quick question. What's that? Um, how come when I end match, when I go to end match, when I tell it I want to end match, how come it kicks me out of the vehicle and then makes everything fine? Oh, it, you're just leaving the vehicle. If you would have, it's that, that's that's another bug. It still allows you to leave the vehicle while you're in the menu. So if you press um, what is it X oh. right now, you'll just leave the vehicle. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's another bug though. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'd say that it's definitely a mix of the two. It starts with a game we want to play, and I think that it ends in a compromise of what we think other people like. Now, that being said, if somebody had a suggestion, and I think I'm going to hate this suggestion, we probably still wouldn't do it. But we definitely take other people's feedback to heart. It's just really fun to deform Nick White, okay? Yeah. Um, not Cam That's said. My presidential slogan. Not Cam said, Matt making notes? Oh, gotcha. Matt's actually helping. Wow. <laughs> About to say, I think I think that was I think that was a little passive aggressive. A little? A little. I'm gonna drive this tank right off the edge eventually. I'm hitting something. Um, I bet you if you well, no, actually you could push the joystick in any direction. Oh, actually. No, that still do it. I was going to say if you were in first person, it wouldn't do that, but <laughs> I think it still does. Okay, so... Do, do, do. Okay, now it's actually time to die. Bye, boys. Bye. Miss you. Bye. Bye, not Cam. Maybe someday we'll learn who you are. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right, guy. Oh, Scott Udell's leaving, too. He may have already left. Uh, have a great night. Love the game so far. Send me a copy sometime, and I'll gladly test it. All right, cool. Scott, if you're still online, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to hook you up sometime with an actual uh, copy of the game. This is how Nick White's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> I just drove him off the edge. If of glory. In fairness, if this is how my, my I'm sorry, what? I, I can't hear you. <laughs> no! <laughs> I guess I'm just not going to talk to him. No, I still want you to talk. I just want you to talk into the microphone so that everybody else can hear you too. No. <laughs> That'll teach us. Is anyone still on anymore? Uh, yeah, we got a few people on. Um, I'm thinking about calling it a night, though. Yeah, same. I'm pretty sleepy. I'm a sleepy boy. No. I have a need for nicotine. <laughs> I have a need. A need for nicotine. Okay. Should I write down that's me?
You can't interact. <laughs> oh, let's write it down. Can't interact with vehicles while in while on the pause menu. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. He is still here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we still need a soundtrack. So, yeah, if you have any tracks to send, definitely take a look at them. Um, yeah, I'm starting to think about other bugs we found. Never actually got a chance to test that wall jumping. Well, I mean, I had the chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just never got around to it. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it, it works okay. I wrote down a surprising amount. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Matt. Oof. Looking forward to going to bed. Maybe I wrote down the jetpack upgrades don't work, but maybe the gun upgrades don't work. I just never had the chance to shoot anybody and find out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I am going to go outside. All right. Um, could you press stop stream and we can wave and say goodbye? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Goodbye. Well, yeah. Bye. Bye. Woo! See ya. Goodbye. Bye. See you later.